I was thinking as well, if you if you had that TARDIS and you could take one more thing on board for your journey, what would you take with you? I always wanted a piano in my TARDIS, <laughs> just because I wanted a piano on set. But <laughs> you play the piano? Not very well. <laughs> right. Loosely. Right. Vaguely. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> but a bit. Um, but... You know, I mean, the amazing thing, that, that was one of the amazing things about this show, is that you got to be so close to all these amazing ideas about time travel, or you got, you know, you go, well, obviously, the Doctor's got some amazing piano room somewhere, with, like, pianos made from Zygon, <laughs> or whatever it is, you know what I mean? And that you're so close to all these big, huge, magical, mad ideas every day, that it's such... It's so rewarding, that relationship with, you know, that part of the story. I don't know. I, yeah, a piano, basically. <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to presume that if, you know, I know if I was the Doctor, I'd definitely be going back to those incredible moments of history to witness it first hand. I think it would be absolutely amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about yourself, David? What would you take on board? Do you mean, like, as a, as a sort of thing that you would need to survive, or do you mean... No, I don't know. Something that, you know, a bit sort of desert island disky, I think I was thinking, you know. Something that you, you think, oh yeah, no, I'd like to have that with me, definitely. A nice coffee machine, probably. <laughs> yeah, that would be quite boring. Because mm. it's remarkable, even now, the places you can't get a good cup of coffee. <laughs> so I'm sure in all of time and space, there are more places you can get a good cup of coffee than there are places when you can get a good cup of coffee. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Statistically, <laughs> so I cover myself. <laughs>